Hi all, today we are going to discuss about Mega Ohm Bridge. So this Mega Ohm Bridge is used to measure the resistance, high resistance from starting from 0.1 Mega Ohm up to 10 to the power of 6 Mega Ohms with an accuracy of about 3% for the lower part range that means for lesser value of these high resistances and about 10% for about 10,000 mega ohm. So why the difference in this percentage of accuracy is coming or what are the problems encountered in measuring the high resistance that we are going to see. Let us take for example, I am taking a resistance. So let us assume the resistance material is inside. Generally, this resistance material is completely enclosed in some insulator. So let us assume this is the insulation or outer cover of this resistor. So whenever the current is passing like this, so actually I want my current should only pass through this resistor. But in practice, what happens? So some leakage current because of absorption of the moisture and other parameters. So some leakage current will pass through this body also. That means throughout the entire body, that means outer body or through the surface of the insulation, some leakage current also will passes. So this current, I can tell it as this is my leakage current and this is my resistance. Generally, the resistance offered for this leakage current will be in the order of mega ohms. Generally, the resistance that is offered, the value of this leakage resistance will be in mega ohms only. So if you are measuring the small resistance, let us take for example, 100 ohm, 1 kilo ohm, 2 kilo ohm. So this will be, so this I can write as equivalent to, so this is my actual value of the resistance. So along with this actual value of resistance, there is one more resistance that is called as leakage resistance. So if the value of the leakage resistance is far, far greater than R, then we can tell that equivalent resistance is approximately equal to R only because let us take for example, leakage resistance is some 100 mega ohm. Let us assume leakage is 100 mega ohm. The resistance you are measuring is some 100 ohms. 100 ohms in parallel with 100 mega ohm. You can take the parallel combination. Generally, the effect of this leakage resistance can be neglected because that effect is very less because whichever current comes here, current through this resistor will be I into other resistance by total resistance because more current will pass through this R only, very less leakage currents pass through this RL. Agree with me? But if you are going for measurement of high resistance, particularly in the range of mega ohms, then in that case, we cannot neglect the value of RL. So if the value of R is in mega ohms, then RL cannot be neglected. So how to avoid this problem? So for that, what will be done? Practically, whenever you take any high resistor, generally in the high resistor on these insulator, one metal cap will be provided in the center. Through that metal cap, one terminal will be brought out, which we call as G. G stands for the guard terminal. So G stands for the guard terminal. So now this is my actual resistance. And along with that, representing the leakage current because leakage current will pass through like this and it will pass like this and reach B. So we can tell that between A and G, that resistance I am representing by REG and between B and G, that leakage resistance I am representing by RBG and this R is my actual resistance. That R is my actual resistance. To understand this concept clearly, let us take for example, I am taking for example, I am measuring a resistance of 100 mega ohm. Let us assume total leakage resistance is equal to some 200 mega ohm. I am just taking one example. Let us assume it is 200 mega ohm because this GE tapping is taken in the center. So this 200 mega ohm will be divided as 100 mega ohm here and 100 mega ohm here. That means the value of RAG will be equal to RBG is equal to 100 mega ohm. R is equal to 100 mega ohm. Or we can tell that the equivalent resistance, this equivalent resistance will be 100 mega ohm is parallel with 200 mega ohm, which is nothing but equal to 67 mega ohm. Let us assume if you are directly connecting this resistor in the Wheatstone bridge, just measure it. That means the value of product of opposite branches, that means P into S is equal to this R equivalent multiplied by Q. From that R equivalent value that is measured after calibration will be, it will measure it as 67 mega ohm. But what is the actual value of the resistance? Resistance, actual resistance is 100 mega ohm, but it is reading as 67 mega ohm because of this leakage resistance. So about 33 percent error is introduced in this case. So how to overcome this problem? So to overcome this problem, what we can do, whatever is that G terminal is there, that D terminal I will connect here. That means that G terminal I will connect above the galvanometer terminal. So if you are taking the terminal, let us take for example A, B, 
C and D, this G terminal will be connected at point B. So, whenever this G terminal is connected at point B, you can see here now this 100 mega ohms, that means that RAG is connected across P. You can see this RAG is coming in parallel with P because I have represented here. So, and similarly, this second one, that means RBG is coming in parallel with the galvanometer. It is coming in parallel with the galvanometer and between A and B only R is there here agree with me so now this 100 mega ohm is in parallel with p if we can select the value of a p in such a way the value of the p is less than 1 by 10 times of rag that means 1 by 10 times of rag is greater than p in that case the error introduced will be minimum like you can take the parallel combination p let us take for example i am taking as 100 kilo ohm practically it will be less than 100 ohms which will be kept we are going to see the actual diagram soon so here let us take for example 100 kilo ohm you can take it in combination with 100 mega ohm if you calculate the equivalent value you will get it very near to 100 kilo ohm some error will be introduced but the error will be very less that means p is not actually equal to 100 mega ohm because this equivalent is adding to this it will decrease a little bit but the effect is very less so that we can get accuracy of about 3 percent very less error is introduced and now coming to this galvanometer this 100 mega ohm is connected across the galvanometer agree with me so now whichever current is passing because only if the potential at point g is not equal to potential at point B. Only in that case the current will pass. So, under unbalanced condition, whichever current is passing through this galvanometer, some current will pass through this 100 mega ohm. But generally, the resistance of the galvanometer is very less when compared to this resistance. So, obviously, majority of the current will pass through this galvanometer only. But anyway, as some current is bypassed through this, the sensitivity of galvanometer will decrease little bit. That means, you have to go for highly sensitive galvanometer to avoid the shunting effect of this 100 mega ohm. So, now under balanced conditions, we know the potential G is equal to potential B. That means the potential this point will be have same potential as this one. So, no current will pass through this 100 mega ohm. So, the effect of this 100 mega ohm can be neglected. So, only effect will be there. This 100 mega ohm which is across P, only that is going to affect your final result. And this second one, that means the value of the RBG, RBG can be negligible under balanced condition. So, with that, we can obtain the minimum error possible. So, the practical circuit that is used in practice will be like this. So, this is my P and this is my resistance connected between A and D terminals and this RAG, this G is there. Similarly, RBG, this G is connected to point B through a guard terminal. Generally, what happens? The bridge circuit, entire circuit will be internal. So, this from the B terminal, one wire will be brought out. And similarly, from point A and point D, two wires will come out. So, that we will connect to the respective terminals. That means, capital A, capital B and capital G. Once that is done, here you can see practically the value of P that is taken will be around 100 ohms. And the Q is a variable resistor. And this resistor S will have a decayed box which is having the multiple tappings. So, if you take the equation under balanced condition, because I already told you that effect of RAG and RBG can be neglected. So, that is why under balanced condition, we can tell that R is equal to P by Q times of S. This you already know in the Wheatstone bridge. So, we can tell that the unknown resistance is equal to P is the constant value. So, P we are not very. So, remove this one. It is the ratio of S divided by Q. So, this S depending on what value you are selecting, it will give the appropriate multiplication factor or it will act as a multiplier. We will select the value like that 0 0.1, 1, 10, 100 and 1000. This much multiplication factor will be there for calculating the value of R. Generally, the value is varied from 100 mega ohm to sorry, 10 mega ohm to 100 mega ohm in 5 steps. So, in multiplication of 10, that is why it is called as a decayed resistor. Getting it? So, now the value of Q will be varied to get the fine tuning and get the balance. So, depending on what is the original value of the resistance, approximately we give the respective branch. That means it is in the range of 10 mega ohm keep here. Like that accordingly we will keep here. Then the Q will be calibrated to get the balance. So, let us take for example, if our unknown resistance is equal to like 0 0.1 mega ohm. 0 0.1 mega ohm means we will connect it around 10 mega ohm and accordingly the Q will be adjusted like that. If it is 1 mega ohm around, you will keep it at this branch and calibrate because R is equal to P by Q into S. So, that means the value of Q will be selected in such a way that it will be compensated. And Q is calibrated to give the direct reading value of the R. 
generally the reading will be provided in the range of 1 to 10 100000 mega ohms in the logarithmic scale so generally the reading will be provided in the logarithmic scale in the q so directly at q based on what you are calibrating here or when you are moving at balance condition that whatever the indicator is there that indicator directly indicates the value of the unknown resistance r so some value will be indicated whatever value is indicated by the q actually value indicated on the dial will be ratio of p by q so that one you have to multiply with the multiplication factor s that multiplication factor s will be obtained from here depending on which knob you are keeping that knob will have the readings like this 0 0.1 1 10 000 and 10000 using this we can calculate so the advantage is because as discussed already if the value of the unknown resistance is less so in that case the effect of these a RAG, RBG will be very less. But as the value of the resistance is increasing, the effect of this AG and BG, so they will be dominating because leakage resistance will be dominating. That's why the error will increase or the percentage accuracy will decrease. Getting it? So our percentage accuracy is nothing but actually percentage error that will increase. That is the major thing you have to observe. So here the value of the voltage source is generally taken from 500 volts to 1 kilo ohm. Because we are measuring very high value of the resistance, generally this voltage source should have the more rating. And second one, I told you that in order to increase, because this RBG is bypassing some of the current passing through your galvanometer, in order to increase the sensitivity of the galvanometer, practically we go for high gain amplifier that will be connected to electronic voltmeter. High gain amplifier connected to electronic voltmeter in order to increase the sensitivity of the galvan this uh, galvanometer. So I hope this every concept of this mega ohm bridge is clear to you. If you still have any queries, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.